And with that, our robots are underway. Cleaning up the playing field floor is going to be Josh for the Red Alliance, Matt for the Blue Alliance. We're starting to see this strategy develop where one robot just stays on that initiation line, sweeps up all of those power cells nice and early, and funnels them as quickly as possible into the inner and outer ports for their respective alliance. Coming out of our first 30 seconds, it looks like we will have a Blue Alliance lead, 88 to 43. Two minutes of match play remaining. We see two blue robots, Donut Jonah and Matt L, lined up on their initiation line right in front of the power port. They're going to extend that blue alliance lead. They cycle back to their loading zone and Nick L all by themselves in that red alliance sector, putting up more points for the blue alliance, extending their score to 158 with 38 power cells scored. The red alliance does have quite a bit of a gap to cover. Lined up for some scoring is Josh 4910, but they do face some defense from Matt L. Matt L nudges them out of the way. It does look like that defense not entirely effective at the moment, but it is slowing down the Red Alliance, allowing the Blue Alliance to extend their score. Just under a minute and a half remaining in the match, the Red Alliance has deployed plenty of power cells onto the playing field floor in their sector. They're going to vacuum those up off the floor as quickly as possible and ferry them back toward the Red Alliance power port. Meanwhile, Blue doing some collecting off the floor for themselves. No one's scoring quite now for Blue, and a collision between Red and Blue on that initiation line still slowing down that Red Alliance scoring, but plenty of power cells still making their way on in, thanks to Sabor 6 624 and their alliance partner hater 1023 a lot more collisions in this match than we have seen previously but still a high score so far 263 for the blue alliance 178 for the red alliance just 35 seconds remaining in the match neither alliance has quite met that 90 power cell threshold that's going to be very important based on the number of teams that have achieved it so far in order to be competitive these individuals are going to need to make sure they secure that ranking point at any cost possible in these matches just 15 seconds left no robots off the ground quite yet from what we can see we do have two robots in that rendezvous point for the blue alliance joining now two red alliance robots five seconds remaining in the match a 100 point lead on the board for the blue alliance as time expires in qualification match number seven Final score on the board indicating a Blue Alliance victory, 408 to 313 in qualification match number seven. In that match, that means, of course, the Blue Alliance will be walking away with two ranking points for the victory. They also will be earning a ranking point for having their shield generator operational at the end of the match. The Red Alliance also achieved 90 points in their end game, so they will also walk away with one ranking point. Thanks for watching. If you want more fun content, be sure to subscribe and ring the bell to be notified about our latest videos. You can also directly help support fun by visiting our Patreon at patreon.com forward slash first updates now or by subscribing at twitch.tv forward slash first updates now. Thanks to all of our co-executive producers on Patreon and tier 2 plus subscribers on Twitch keeping fun loud, live, and independent.